coming to you all the way live from the Hennessy VSOP Privileged Music Series. I got a young brother that does it all. There ain't nothing he don't do, and I'm going to bring him to the stage and talk about everything he got going on. Give it up for Ro Timmy one time, y'all. Oh, yes. The sensation himself. What's going on there, brother? Come on in, man. Have a seat. So we can talk about some things, man. I'm waiting for this interview for about two weeks. Because you know he do everything. He act, he sing, I think he paints, <laughs> and then he don't do. And we all just want to know, why'd you set up Julio? <laughs> That's all I want to know before we go any further with anything else. I've been hurt. That's my man, too. He put out new music. I, I, every time I play his record, I be like, damn, he set up Julio like that. <laughs> it's a cold game. Not, so don't, 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 we'll go to that later. Okay. Bro, Timmy's in the building, man. Let you know we got a big show going on tonight. Yeah. Doing it in the city of San Francisco. How's the tour been, brother? Oh, it's been amazing, bro. You know, it's my first nationwide tour, so, like, just adjusting to the, to the sleep patterns and just, you know, the work ethic. and So it's been dope, man, and just seeing the people loving the music and, and, and how the, the crowd knowing the song has grown as I've gone on the tour. So, like, it's just a beautiful thing, bro. Now, the project is called Jeep Music, which is out right now. Yeah. I'm going to tell you a little secret about myself. All I follow is promiscuous women on Instagram, uh -huh. and they all post your music all the time. Yes! <laughs> yes! What is the secret? <laughs> what are you putting in the sauce to make them love it so much? Man? Nah, you know, the cool thing about it, man, it's a true story. Like, the whole from track one to eight is a true love story that I went through. Like, I actually went through it from when I was in college. I went to Northwestern University. And so when I was in college, I had nothing. So when I got out of college, I had um, I, saw, I did a TV show called Boss right when I graduated. And then right when I started Power and musically as well. So five years of ups and downs and good times and I cheat, she cheat. It was a lot of stuff that I actually put into Jeep music, you know? And I call it Jeep music because she's in Jersey. She has a, she's known for having a white Jeep. So that followed us throughout our whole relationship. So that's why I'm sitting on top of it because it's like I conquered that relationship so it was like a whole thing man like it was just me pouring my, you know my situation and and with fifth fifth told me like if you're gonna do this the right way speak about your truth everything that you that that you actually live so in those songs you know it's, it's real life did you ask her permission I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. That's the first time anyone ever answered a question like that. They're yeah. like, nah, they'll see me when I see them in the nah. street. And they just go, nah. what'd you say? Nah, I said, listen, um, I'm thinking about making this project about what we went through. So I want you to hear it first. So when we did the records, you know, there was a, there was a record that I got called What We Do on there that broke her down. Like, you know, because it was basically the truth about everything that happened. Um, right here, um, only you. There's records that really touched it because we actually lived that. So it was just, and she gave me, you know, the okay, like, go do your thing. So you gave her this superstar project, heard it, she broke down, and in that moment she was vulnerable. You was like, now I'm things is popping for you. I'll talk to you later, baby. <laughs> 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 nah, you know, it, 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 it <laughs> <laughs> We're curious. These are things people want to nah, know, man. No, 100%. Like, we didn't talk to each other before that, like, in, like, the last year and a half, mm -hmm. you know? So I called out the blue to say, this is what I'm going to do. And um, after that, she, she had her moments, and then, you know, she came to the show in New York to see it, and she loved it, so it was dope. You shouted her out from the stage, too? No, I ain't shouted her out. You just said, <laughs> that song was because of her. Right there. Uh, <laughs> Chill. <laughs> the Chill. How are you balancing all these things, man? How are you doing the acting and the music and the touring? I know it's getting out of control. It's got to be crazy. Um, For me, yo, like, it's it's really been, it's really me saying what's the most important things to you right now. So, okay, you know you, you can't party as much as you want to. You know you can't uh, kick it with some joints the, the way you want to. You know you can't, you got to be smart. You know, I got to compartmentalize my time. And um, my team helps me, you know, every day with it. But it's like you really gotta like have a regiment, man. And and it's it's hard. It's hard because I love both. And I'll be on set thinking about, dang, okay, let me finish this scene because I gotta go to the studio. So I'll be on set from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Then go to the studio from 11 p.m. to 8 a.m. And then do it all again for two, three weeks and not sleep, you know. So and that's how bad I wanted it, you know. And I and I knew that. Having a, a a project come out at the same time the show is on, 
I have to make it an, under, an undeniable thing because too many eyes will be on it. So I was just hungry, bro, just hungry. Which one is more gratifying? Gratifying um, music because, I, again, I just started acting f four years ago. No. Oh. Four or five years, four years ago. Four, really? Four or five years ago, yeah. Because um, I, when I graduated, I just need, I just wanted to go to get money. It wasn't like a, I'm an actor. No, it was like, let me get a commercial to, to survive. But I ended up booking my first audition, and it was a major role on this TV show called Boss. So I got thrown into acting. It wasn't a idea. I just did it to get. I, actually, the audition was to just get my feet wet in in getting to do auditions, and I ended up getting the job. So now I'm learning from Kelsey Grammer. Episode one is literally my first acting class. So people are watching me figure this shit. You figure this out. Yeah, and it's like, okay, where do you do? You, do you love it? I loved it because it was so natural for me to do. You know. So then um. But music definitely because I've been doing it since I was a kid. I was singing since I was five, you know, and I was playing the violin, playing the you know piano, the flute, everything. So to see that it's getting love now, and we're having millions and millions of streams on this project, it feels like okay, like the time is now. So now the music is doing good, and yeah. you happen to stumble on this incredible show called Power. Yes, sir. And you come in as a young guy that's gonna come up under. And you know, join the gang. Yeah, yeah. And now you become this ruthless villain <laughs> that is breaking our heart yeah. week after week. Yeah. So tell me, as you're doing this thing, right? Now you become you're a certified actor, and you're yeah. doing your thing. You know, yeah. I know you're doing your thing because I hate you sometimes when I look at you. Yes. That's how you know somebody really doing their job when yes. you be like, "Yo, man, I love him to death," but damn, <laughs> how does it feel like when people like you trying to talk about stuff and they they walk up to you, brother? You was wrong for that. You are like, <laughs> it's a show. Right. <laughs> I now, came here to sing tonight. Right, right. <laughs> you know, and the, and the cool thing is like people are now like they'll say it and, and joking, but they'll say right after, "Dog, but I love that project, dog." <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's cool. And um, the thing that the show did for me, like, Courtney told me that this season is going to be your season. And if you, gonna, if, you, if you do it right, you're going to be the most talked about character this season. So I said, OK, I'm ready for that. What this has done has made people start researching who wrote Timmy is. So they're doing their research and finding out, oh, snap, he does this, he does that, he does this. So it's a blessing, man, because I want to be the one that breaks the, 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 the line of, actor, singer, I just call you a talent, man, as an entertainer, you know, I want to break that line and so, and be equally good at both, you know, and, and that's the goal, so, you know, that's really what it is. Is it nerve-wracking, because in four years, everything has gone like that, Yeah. and there's a lot of our favorite actors that never get no shows like this, yeah. never, and yeah. you're there at the top, you're like a key element to these yeah. things. Yeah. Does that weigh on you? Nah, it's a blessing, man. I prayed for this, bro. Like, I prayed for this every night. I didn't know how this was going to happen. I didn't know how I was going to have a platform like this. But I prayed for it. So now that I have it, it's like, all right, work 10 times harder so you don't lose it. Work 10 times harder because now you want more than this, you know? And, and it's not weighing on me because, again, like, I'm surrounded by big mentors for me like fifth you know and and amari and joe shakura who plays tommy like having those type of guys around me just kind of puts it in perspective and 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 says okay this is dope but you know you're trying to go over there so that's where i'm at so what's the next step what we gotta look for we got the tour big show going on tonight yeah. album's out already yeah power's still going on that we got yeah. two more episodes left yeah 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 what else you got oh man so uh i got volume two that we're gonna start working on um, as soon as I get done with the tour. Uh, I mean, if Dre survives, man, I hopefully he does this episode, you know what I'm saying? Um, I might start filming. See, oh, yo, <laughs> everybody in the room works. Come on, man. Saying, yo, know? this is my man. He if will he, not tell me anything about nothing. <laughs> if he survives, you know, I don't know. But if I mean, he survives. Huh? I mean, hopefully I, hopefully that's season five. Okay. You know, hopefully that's season five. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> getting into some movies. Uh, and I'm starting to write my own TV shows, man. Like I want to do everything. Like I'm, I, if you if you work with Fifth and see Fifty Cent work and 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 be around him for a day, you'll be so inspired to say, all right, hold on, he's on the phone. Who's okay? I'm, let me call somebody. You know what I mean? Let me get a, you know, and just having that mentality, like that's where I'm at. I want to do everything before I'm done here. You know. In the past four years, what has been the most memorable moment 
like a big payoff when you was like, wow. Was it like one of your mentors coming to you and saying, I love yeah. your project? Was it a show? Which one mm -hmm. was it? I think when I booked Power, um, so I'm Nigerian. I don't know if everybody knew that, but I'm Nigerian. So like when I booked the show, my mom was like, and this is before I knew how big Power was. So my mom was like, ah, wrote to me. The women at church said you will be a superstar because you are only show power. I said, oh. She's like, yeah, my baby's a superstar. And she started screaming and crying. And it was just like, whoa, this is crazy. You know what I mean? So that was the one that was like, OK, if my mom's reacting to this. This is something special. And then two, I think when LeBron came up to me and was like, yeah, I made the whole team watch Burning Sands. I made them watch Power. Like, yo, he's my favorite on the show. Like, bro, and I rock with the music. So that was just like, whoa, before he came, before I can come up to him and be like, yo, I'm a fan, he came up to me. So that was like a, a, a moment for me, just, you know, just seeing that, okay, we That's crazy move. since you're a Warriors fan. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, yes, yes, I am a Warriors fan. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I am. Just got to throw it in there, man. Yes, Bro, did. Timmy's in the building, man. Want everybody to go to the show tonight. Make sure you get the project, Jeep Music. What you want to say to your people? Nah, nah, I got one more. What's up, brother? I've been when I first seen him go to the first couple shows I went to, the question was how long will he keep his shirt on before he ran to the front? <laughs> so I know you're out of control with it now. How yeah. are you? Because you're becoming the sex symbol now yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. And you've been acting up at the shows, man. It's been fun, dog. It's you, been you've been hitting muscle poses at the front. A little something like that. <laughs> No, I don't do that, man. Hey, you're not taking. You're not taking advantage. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know. Just, oh you my know God! Is it's it getting a, out of control? Is the nice panties little, and stuff flying to the stage? Nice what, what's going bottle, on? You know, huh? What's yeah. going on? Shout out to Hennessy. Yeah. You know. What I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Thank y'all for this event. You know. It was great. Yo, it was so much they wanted you to come. <laughs> when Tom Road Team was coming, they gave you an autograph bottle of your own. All for you right there, my boy. Wow. Brother. Courtesy of Hennessy VSOP. Wow. Thank you know what you, I mean? So you're making it all. So when you go tonight, you want to. Big dash on the front uh -huh. row. Just like that now. <laughs> Just like that now. Do that move again. Do it again. The dash on the uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one and the only Ro Timmy in the building right now. Love, man. Love, love.